They're very, very personal. So it's almost like he doesn't want to speak with them. He wants you to make of them what you decide. It's about how these images can mean anything you want them to. The artist wants you to project. The art community is so vibrant in Pakistan. It's really amazing. And of course, everywhere that there's angst, and there's strife, you will get amazing art. So that's what sets it apart. That's what keeps it exciting and young. My clientele are all quite young. They don't have a lot of money, um, but uh, they, are, they, do, they do collect, and they are passionate about collecting, which is wonderful. A very small blimp at the moment, you know. Um, China used to, and India used to be equal at some point of time, and now China's overtaken and is about 13 to 15 percent of the world market. India is still yet to get to that level. Primarily, museums in China are, are in thousands. We are only counting, you know, less than 10 or less than five at the moment. So the exposure to um, Indian art is less. said that Indian art was going global, it was really supported by the diaspora. It was mostly Indians abroad who were buying the art, so it wasn't that it was being accepted. But some of us have been very lucky. Uh, I have a large work at the Asian Art Museum in San Francisco. Uh, this year many artists have been placed in good museums uh, in America. And I think to a certain extent America still calls the shots. I think youngsters are buying, beginning, the, the new young rich are beginning to buy art. Some because they really like it, some because they think it's trendy. Uh, but nevertheless, that gives a platform to many young artists. The tragedy, however, is that, say, when I was a young artist, there couldn't have been more than two or three hundred of us uh, practicing art, uh, I mean, like full time. Uh, today, there are something like six to seven lakh artists each of them looking for a place in the sun. So for many young artists, it's a great disappointment to find that they don't find the criticism, they don't find the market, they don't find the audiences, um, and they certainly don't find the galleries. With auction houses, with private galleries, which is now showing in an art fair, 
a lot of transactions happening privately as well as auctions in India and internationally. I think you know it is set up to be a commerce uh, which is viable, which is feasible, which can grow in you know multiple dimensions. I have a personal collection which I have been collecting now for 19 years. I started too with you know whatever one could afford at that time. But then one made a conscious decision to build a collection. And for me it gives me the greatest joy uh, to own a piece of original piece of art and uh, you know to get to know the history behind that artist and what inspired that artist. And some of them are not even there anymore, they've passed away. So for me, I'm owning a part of a heritage.